How does the palace release a photo like this when you're just asking for trouble and it's so obvious that is a great question and i've been asking myself that since the photo came out one of the things that struck Ooh, me questions and conspiracy sure theories have swirled around the princess of wales whereabouts for months with only rare glimpses of her outside of her home tonight tmz takes a hard look at how the palace's controversial handling of the crisis ignited a firestorm of speculation and joining me now with more on the special is tmz investigates executive producer Sir Harvey Levin. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, Anita. So, you know, I always tell you when your specials come on, uh, it's cold here in Chicago, so I'm going to be on the treadmill. Um, so this is this is good time, you know, for me to dive in. I have gone down the rabbit hole here, admittedly, on Kate Middleton's disappearance. It's totally spiraled into so much medical records being breached, even a possible stunt double. Tell us what you all got into. Well, first of all, Anita, congrats that you would get on the treadmill at as late as 8 o'clock at night. Good on you. <laughs> um, second, <laughs> let's, um, let's talk about um, the palace's official party line that this was planned abdominal surgery. We went into this with an open mind. Now, I am not buying what the palace is saying at all. Go back to Christmas, where this motorcade mysteriously left the place where William and Kate were staying. And then we got video of that same motorcade, apparently, with an ambulance going to the hospital, that small hospital where she was. Well, if it's planned surgery, why is an ambulance taking her there two weeks before? Makes no sense. Why did William only visit her once, as far as we know, in the 13 days she was there? And then you get to the Mother's Day photo. Why, after, if there were 16 edits on this picture, mm. there is no way on God's green earth that they didn't see she was not wearing her wedding ring. Mm -hmm. Why? And then you look at the photo we got of her and William in a car where they were photographed. And when you look at that photo, when you look from inside the car out at the bricks behind them, and then you look at the bricks from outside the car, they don't match. So when we got this video over the weekend of William and Kate at this grocery store, which I believe is real, a lot of people just don't believe it because the credibility of the palace has been shot over this. Yeah, it, it, it's like Photoshop fail upon Photoshop fail. You know, it really seems like the palace's handling of it only makes it worse, don't you think? Oh, it makes it significantly worse. The only, there are a couple of explanations about what happened here. I will say that it may be that what actually happened to Kate is so sensitive, something so private that they just can't talk about it. And if you knew what it was, you would say, I get it. The mm -hmm. problem is, if that's the case, say nothing. But don't create a false scenario, which they did. As far as I'm concerned, it just makes no sense what the palace is saying. Yeah, and we're seeing them like, oh, they're just walking through this market. We've never seen them just walking through a market before. And then people are, you know, eating well, or th going th on about their day. Like, this isn't the royals coming that's through. That's actually not true. Yeah, it, it, they actually do go to that market. Um, it's about a mile from their residence. And what I think is going on is they've seen all this publicity. They've seen all these missteps. And I think it was intentional. I think they went to that market knowing they were going to get photographed. And that if you look at the picture of her in the video, when you look at her, her gait, her face and everything else, she looks great. It's like it was a pose type picture, like, like it was planned. But when you go back to the Mother's Day picture, we spoke to Pierce Morgan. He's part of the documentary. He knows people and has talked to people who work at the residence where they live. And they said, that's no way that's Kate in the Mother's Day picture because her face was way more gaunt and thin mm -hmm. than it appears in the picture. So when was that picture taken? When was she in that picture? Was it a picture from Vogue? Wait till you see how we superimpose a picture of Vogue over the Mother's Day picture, and it looks almost perfect. 
there's a lot to see. There is a lot to see. And I want to see another video of them in that market. Um, so thank you, Harvey. We appreciate it. And we're going to be watching again. TMZ investigates. Where is Kate Middleton? It premieres tonight at 8 p.m. on Fox. And the next day on Hulu, all eyes will be tuning in to see what's going on with that.